What is a dead giveaway that someone is creepy or a weirdo? Met a girl through class. She immediately became very attached and asked for my apartment key the second time we hung out together, which was about one week apart. We're both girls and we literally hung out twice. My wife had a male co-worker that built a diorama of one of her female co-workers being eaten alive by a tarantula. He then thought it would be a good idea to show the diorama to her and other co-workers. Management found him a job at another company rather than firing him. My wife and her co-workers were relieved that he was gone, grateful that he wasn't likely to consider his separation antagonistic, but worried about his future co-workers. Not really a universally applicable sign, but definitely an unambiguous sign. They make comments that are absolutely out of line, like sexual or violent comments, like it's normal. It's one thing to joke, but you can just tell when someone is being serious. They don't understand personal space. They constantly have interactions where everyone else is completely crazy. Normal people don't get banned from Costco, spit on gas station attendants and get tarsed by the cops. If this shit happens to you you're probably a creepy weirdo. And yes, I'm sure all of your ex-girlfriends were the problem. They are pushy and don't respect boundaries. Chris Hansen asks them to have a seat. Anyone else reading this to see if they're weirdo? Or just me and my social anxiety? He refers to himself as an alpha male. If they have absolutely zero personality outside of sex. Where's my hug? Their username is begging for nudes from strangers. Adults begging children to give them a kiss or a hug despite being told no. You walk past them as they are looking at their phone and see they have a picture of you taken from across the food court of you unhinging your jaw to take a bite of a burger. Grown men who tell teenage girls that they're mature for their age. They tell you who you are and what you like, and if you stand up for yourself they gaslight you and try to play games with your boundaries to break them down. The age of consent in randomness place is 16 so it's okay. Don't take no for an answer. They have a glass cage in their basement. They're a moderator on Reddit. When you're using a public urinal and a complete stranger stands directly behind you quietly for no reason. Attempts to isolate you from your friends. Or to take you out of public space to go somewhere alone with them. When they passionately discuss their collection of vintage Barbie dolls, which they claim are haunted, while offering to show you their extensive shrine dedicated to Nicolas Cage in their basement. They are long, have small feet, no arms, and they have green and white patches on them. Bonus points if they hiss and then explode when you come close to them. They claim to not understand the concept of the age of consent. Obsessed with sex. I met a girl through a game I'm a fan of and she would always talk about groping men and talk extremely sexual about face models cosplayers, and voice actors. She also has a really bad anger problem and low self-esteem so she was always charged up. The weird sex obsession, comments, telling everyone about her entire sex life and history, and getting mad when men wouldn't let her grope them was so uncomfortable and the other girls in the group just fed into it. When it refuses to rub the lotion. They only interact with people that they want to fuck. Anyone who tells young kids things like you're gonna be a heartbreaker, let me know when you turn 18, I bet your parents are chasing them away, etc. I have heard enough older women say these things to my little brother and it was always weird. Animal cruelty. When they were here before, couldn't look me in the eyes. When they go on a rant about Huey Lewis and the news. When they're stone sober and trying to pick up super drunk people at the bar. ETA an intoxicated incapacitated person cannot legally consent to sex, so it's very creepy that sober people would be seeking to sleep with people whose ability to legally consent may be questionable. Every person's alcohol tolerance is different, so you can't always gauge a person's level of with-itness by the number of drinks they've had. A sober appearing person may very well be blacked out. Sex with such a person may be found to have been sexual assault. 
age is just a number. I have problems trying to meet new people, like shy and awkward, and it leaves me terrified women will assume I'm one of those nice guys inkels who blame women for their lack of success. Aside from some obvious things, this thread isn't as comforting as I'd hoped. They are on the sex offender registry. Finding you on socials within half an hour of knowing you and not knowing your last name. They are dragging a body part around with them. I don't think enough people trust their gut. If you have a weird feeling about someone, or they make you feel uncomfortable even without necessarily doing something explicit, there's something going on under the surface. Trust your gut. Anyone who acts too familiar comfortable with you after just meeting you or barely knowing you. Especially if they ask a lot of really personal inappropriate questions really fast, like stuff about your sex life, dating history, childhood, etc. When you're having an argument with someone and they start saying things just to hurt you because they don't have a valid argument. Yeah this one's personal. As a woman, it's when a man feels the need to tell you all about your own interests and how you're wrong about it. Like, I'm nerdy and like comics, but I like the comics I like, and some comic guys try to tell me I'm not a real comic fan if I do T like X, Y, Z comics. Dude, leave me alone. When I sunbathe in my backyard and can see my neighbor in his window watching me with the binoculars. I recently hired someone to build me a privacy fence to go along the backside of the pool. They use Reddit. Lack of personal space. Anyone who comments on my kids like this she will break some hearts. He is such a flirt. Etc. Or if they crowd my kid trying to talk to them to where my kid is hiding. And they say don't be shy, so I have to say they aren't shy, you're making them uncomfortable. I had a grown-ass man easily twice my age and size follow me around when no one else was around. They have many friends that are much, much younger than them. Edit I'm obviously not talking about co-worker relationships, guys. Come the fuck on. Where's my hug? They don't drink, yet hang out at bars doing coke and buying drinks for drunk strangers. I used to run into this way more in the 2008-ish American Apparel Deep V era. The guy who brags that, she's 18. They make jokes about sexual assault rape and then act like you're the weird one for not laughing. They have a Freud-like interest INS sexuality. Had a friend like that, very much a weirdo. They are playing the devil's advocate with age of consent. Weirdo here I would sit alone at lunch when at school and if someone tried to sit with me at the lunch table I would move and find a new area. Wearing sunglasses in the gym. Mostly old guys. Yeah we're on to you. They have a cage in the basement of their bookshop. I'm a big girl and I get DMs on Instagram a lot by BBW SSBBW admirers. The dead giveaway that someone's a creep for me is when they refuse to see me as a person and immediately swoop in for fetish kink talk. And that is a dead giveaway with phrases like. Hi fat baby. I like BBW fat girls. Show me your body. And etc. If you're going to treat me like a hooker pay me like one, otherwise treat me with some goddamn respect. I am a woman. I am a person. Unsolicited dick pics. I do want to add unsolicited tit pics to this list also because women can be weirdos, but I'm pretty single and lonely myself so idk if I'll be creeped out yet. Hey I guess that's why women give men the benefit of the doubt sometimes. Strange fascination with young girls or guys for that matter. They are Scientologists. Edito, no now I am going to be labeled a suppressive person. Any usage of the term alpha. If they ask you if you've ever wondered what it would be like to kill someone and get away with it while holding a set of throwing knives. If they're a Reddit administration. Nothing. Truly creepy people can hide it. Their handshake is either overly aggressive in a weird display of dominance or feels like they've just flopped a dead fish into your hand. Likes Andrew Tate. 